Welcome again and have a blessed day my friends. I'm Tech Scheider for another learning experience. Today I will teach you on how to create audio dubbed on your video project by using web application called text to speech. Let's start. Click your Google Chrome browser. You can also use Edge browser as you prefer. Hover and go to URL box. And then type ttsdemo.com. And press enter key on your computer. To visit this website. Here it is my friends. First allow me to tour you a bit on its interface. You can see here the language. The voice. And the effect. Here you can use any audio languages you like. Here is the Filipino or Tagalog language most often I use on my tutorial. You can browse down to view all the languages available. And here is the voice. On which you can choose gender. Such as male or female. And you can select a variety of character to dub your audio. While you beside you can see where that character came from. And here is the effect option on which you can customize the audio using this feature effects. And here is the cube button where. You can click this to randomly select the character or your avatar. By the way you can include this character together with its audio. Just use screen capture application to save it. As you can notice the voice default here is Julie which is female. If you click the cube icon all characters will appear as female. As you can see here I will click the cube icon in multiple times so that you can see my demo. Here as you can notice it has also have different background or theme on its character. You can use any of these character with theme. To suit your taste or your likings. Example this woman has a hospital background. Maybe she's a doctor, in this case you can use it if you like. You can use this if you want to explain some medical instructions. Now let me show the male characters. Here's James. He is the one often. I use on my English content videos. Just click the cube icon. Now let's take a look's other male characters that you can use in your video projects. Here this man has a beautiful scenery background maybe he is newscaster. Here's another male example character with hospital background theme. Maybe he's a surgeon. You may click multiple times the cube icon to find your own character taste. It may return back again in same character but try again to click the cube icon. There's a lot to choose from. It has cartoonized character and realistic human too. Here is the example a cartoonized man character with library theme. Maybe he's a librarian. Here is another one. And maybe here is the best example a DJ. That emphasizes this tutorial. That you can use this audio to create it an astonishing dubbed on your video project. This tutorial may help you a lot if you don't like to use your own voice on your video. Here's another example. A handsome man to impress your viewers if you're a YouTuber. You can use this character. Now let's start the main tutorial. Hover your mouse pointer on the white area. Like so. And right click. And browse down. And then click inspect. Notice what will happen on the right side screen. Additional option menus will appear as you can notice here. Just follow along with me. Click the network. And you can notice here. You can read recording network activity. On your keyboard press. Control key and R. The page will refresh. Now to demo I will select English language. 
on the voice option. I will select James as my audio dubbing character. Here he is. He is my favorite to use. Because it has awesome vocal audio. Anyway you can choose any character available you want. And now over here is the text box on which you can type in your words to convert it into audio. I will type in to demo to you my friends. Here is my sample words. This will be spoken by James. The audio dubber I chose earlier. Click say it button. To hear the translated audio. Welcome to Tech Shader. There you have it. Awesome. Audio intro. Notice at the right side screen. There will be generated audio file will be created. Double click this audio file. Welcome to Tech And Shader. another tab will be open and this audio will play automatically. To be able to get this file. Right click on this audio file. And then click save audio as. Create folder to put this file. As shown, I just name it TechShider. In this way you can organize the files to be saved. Double click the folder created. Name the audio file. In this case I will name as 1-audio. I use number system series to name my audio files. To distinguish easily. Now click save. You can type any words that you will use on your video pro- As you can see here it is done downloading. Close the generated tab. Like so. Now let's create another audio file or my second audio as an example. Click on the text box. Highlights the old text content to replace it. Now type in your words to be converted into audio file. In this time I will type it for you my friends. You can type any words that you will use on your video project. At this time I will provide again example words to demo my second audio file. I prefer English language which is the universal communication used by most people. By the way my friends the maximum words that you can type is 600 characters. Make sure that you type correct spelling so that it will be properly converted into clear audio. If you are already done click say it. You can hear his fantastic voice. And today I will teach you on how to dub your video using text to speech web application. Now at the right side screen double click on the second audio file that was generated. And today I will teach you on how to dub your video using text to speech web application. Again it will open another tab and it will be automatically played. Right click on it. And then right click save audio as. It will take into the folder you've created earlier. Now click the first file that you save. And edit its file name. Replace the one into two in order to series the second file. As you can observe the file was downloaded and saved into the folder. Here it is my friends. Now close the generated tab. Ok friends let us try another audio file to create. To practice and so that you can follow along with this tutorial. On the text box highlights the old text's content. And then type in your desire words. This time I will do it as my third audio file. Again my friends make sure you type in the correct spelling of your words. I'm done like so. As you can see here. And then click say it button. Please don't forget to subscribe my friends. As you can hear the cool. Audio generated here. Now on the right side screen. 
Double click Please the third audio the file that have been generated. It will play again and open a new tab. Now right click on it. And click save audio as. This will take on the folder text shader we created earlier. Click on the second audio file. Click on the file name and replace 2 into 3 to series this third audio file. And then click save to download this file. Here is the downloaded file my friends. Now you can close the generated tab. And there you have it my friends. Try it to yourself and experiment as you wish. And now I will show you on how to use these audio files on your video project. You can open your video editor. But this time I will use Filmora video editor to demo to you my friends. You can see here I build sample video without audio. Here you can see that I have only video file and effects only. I will play this video so that you can see what I mean. No audio my friends. Let us give meaning to it by adding audio files. To add the audio files that we created on ttsdemo.com. Just click import media file here. Now click on the first audio file. In this time I will use control key on my keyboard to select these three files. This audio files will be added on media dashboard on Filmora. As you can notice here it is still selected. And now we are ready to use this three audio files. Now click the plus sign over the first audio file. This will be place here. Boom. These files were added now on timeline. You can grub on each file and position it according to your likings. Or that suited into your video scenes. Now let's play the sample video. Welcome to Tech Shader. And today I will teach you on how to dub your video using text to speech web application. Please don't forget to subscribe my friends. Done. My friends the audio files did give meaning to this video. The web text to speech that I presented was so useful. In many ways that you can apply. I hope you like this tutorial. Please like my video tutorial and share it to everyone. And if you're new to my channel please subscribe. Thank you and God bless.